vectors um, can have a polar form to them. And it's quite natural because if you have a, um, a line segment that has a length and the arrow indicates an angle that we could orient from the x-axis, positive x-axis, rotated. And so, um, for example, 4 plus uh, 7, uh, 4 I, I'm still in complex number mode, sorry about that. Alright, 4i plus 7j. 4i plus 7j. And, and let me draw this picture. And so, if I, uh, a vector that is 4i plus 7j, and, and literally, this is 4i, 4 units in the positive x direction, and 7 units in the positive vertical direction, at 4i plus 7j gives me this resultant vector, 4i plus 7j. And uh, I just saw, just recall that, I forgot to get my calculator, so I'm going to pause the video a second, and then we're going to calculate the angle and the length of this of this vector. And it's really the identical process uh, that we used in changing rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates or uh, complex numbers in, in um, rectangular form to complex numbers in polar form. It's the exact same process, so uh, once you figure out those numbers, and I'll go get my calculator. Well. I hope you figured out the particulars of this vector in terms of its uh, polar form. The, uh, the magnitude of the vector is um, uh, 65, it's 4 squared plus 7 squared, so square root of 4 squared plus 7 squared is the square root of 65. And our angle, inverse tangent, 7 divided by 4, is uh, about 60.3 degrees. 60.3 degrees. All right, so it's, it's identical to calculating polar form going from rectangular form. Um, you get that stuff, but how would we represent this in vector form? Well, uh, it's going to be the square root of 65 uh, cosine 60.3 degrees times i plus the square root of 65 sine 60.3 degrees J. So um, I don't have a CIS form for this. I, I think that would be awkward. And uh, so this is sort of like the long form of polar form. And um, But in order to do some computations, we have to go back and forth between polar and rectangular form. And, uh, and, and like always, you have to pay attention to what quadrants you're in in order to get the angles correct. So. Uh, that's a that's a polar form of, of that vector, and uh, I think it's important to see where that comes from. Now, it, um, there's really nothing new here, <laughs> except I use I and J. That's that's that. So, okay. Um, well then, that's uh, that's polar form.